Hey guys, I'm totally pumped up because you guys, by this point, I hope I posted the video of everything I got from the workshop. And there's a lot to do. Um, I'm so excited because this year is going to be the year that I decided to put things in the ground. Um, I used to always not want to just because I, would, I'm, I get attached to my trees. I put a lot of hard work and effort into growing my trees. And I'm always worried that if I ever leave this house, um, I'm going to leave my trees behind. Even though I could pull them out, I just don't think that would be fair to pull them out. But I read a beautiful message that I wish I can remember the quote, but I did read something about like love is really gardening in love. I don't, I'm not even going to try, but um, I do feel that if all my time and effort can go into something that I'm not going to keep forever, but however, somebody will appreciate it in the long run and benefit from it, then I can. I can live with that. I can live with that and I'm happy to do it. So I don't know how long I'm going to be in this house, but I don't care. I'm going to do what I love doing and while I'm here, my family and I will benefit from it. So that's all that matters. I decided, if you guys saw the last video, that I'm going to put my pomegranate tree in this container I don't know if you guys can see that just <laughs> I should have brought my big tripod but I'm going to put it in a hole right here and since it's a wonderful day I am going to get out here and work a little bit even if I just dig the hole for now I don't care I want to start prepping the area but I do have all this mulch I might have to change this mulch because it's color mulch and I don't want it to contaminate my tree. There's a huge root of some sort right there. But I might cut it because I don't know what it's for. And it's exactly in the spot where I want it to be. been raining since it's been raining the soil is a lot easier to to work with uh, if you guys remember last year I was trying to dig a hole to put just a few um, ferns in the ground and it was a nightmare my husband had the hardest time even with all his weight he had the hardest time digging about a four inch hole and it's a lot easier now that it's been raining so hard the soil is moist the soils lose it's like like somebody left in my com comments it's like cutting through butter through butter butter <laughs> but the only thing that's slowing me down it's roots that might be growing from my birch tree that's behind me or any other things that are growing here there's a couple vines um that are very pretty beautiful flowers but i want edibles so i want to grow edibles so um it's okay if we lose some roots Like I mentioned earlier, 
um, it's a lot easier to dig up a hole. So what I'm going to do is take these um, little branches, I mean these little things that are holding the branches to the trellis off, and I'm going to um, take the trellis off, put it in the ground, and as you guys can see on the wall, sorry, there's actually some wiring that I can train the pomegranate to, and that's what my intention is. I'm going to train it to grow against that wall, and hopefully we can have a living producing wall. So I'm really excited. Um, in a few minutes after I'm done doing this, I'm gonna prepare the hole so I can start, so I can actually take this out of the container and put it in the ground. Uh, I'm so excited to share this with you guys. This is actually one of my first trees that I'm going to be putting in the ground and growing. Um, in my whole gardening experience, I've never put anything in the ground because I've always known that I'm going to be moving and I wanted to take my trees. And now that I am in a house that plan on being for a long time, I plan on putting things in the ground and have an edible landscape where I can grow enough food to share with family and friends. All right, guys. I brought my special ingredients that you guys are familiar with, that you guys have been following me for a long time. I plan on putting some warm castings, my ultimate favorite product, Sure Star, and some amendment soil to help this tree go on its way. And as you guys can see, now that I took the trellis, look at how flat it is. This is what you do when you train trees a certain way at Bel Air <coughs> and it's gonna look fantastic I'm so excited so excited guys all right so let's move this out of the way and let's start prepping the hole so we can put all right guys here we go some amendments going in I'm gonna mix it up I guess I can use this big shovel It's gonna be like the mat or the bed where my pomegranate tree is gonna be sitting on. And I wanna make sure that I mix it with the current soil there. And then I'm going to put some warm plastic. Look at how beautiful that is. And I'm going to add some shirt star. I love this product. Now I'm going to just mix it in. Alright guys, I'm going to do what I consider being the one of the hardest part. That is digging trees out of containers, especially when you're training and to be out of there because it's flat, obviously you don't want to mess that up. But I did this last year, so I'm hoping that the roots didn't take over this pot. And um, since I'm doing this, I did want to ask you guys a question. I haven't been using gloves and I want to start using gloves. However, all the gloves that I continue to buy get water they rip and I feel like they don't allow me to do what I want to be doing in the garden so if you guys know of any good glo um, garden gloves that are waterproof and they're fitted so you can move around um, I would appreciate if you um, leave it in the comments down below maybe I'll put my email on the description so you guys can send me a link I would really appreciate that and look at this just one year, look at how big the roots got. It completely took over this container. As you guys can see, I always put um, uh, water bottles at the bottom to improve the drainage and to prevent the soil from it going down. Ooh. And sure enough, it did its work. All right, guys, here comes <laughs> the truth moment. And I know that was a little rough, but I 
did it on purpose because I wanted the soil to break off into the hole so they can go exactly where it needed to be. Love it, look at that, fit perfect. The, spruit, the roots spread out when I dumped it and hopefully I'm gonna push soil down there. This I'm gonna use the same wires I had earlier. These aren't tall enough, but I'm just gonna pull this down. That's it, see that? Pomegranates grow so quick and they 